Look at this photograph. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Look at this photograph. Look at this graph. <laughs> Other one's like, look at this math. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to see a screen cap of what I'm doing, I'll send it. All right, I got to take a look. Oh, well, I'm just going to. Oh, I see. Me. Oh, okay. So it's something to do with Ellie. Mm-hmm. And she's holding Sombra's horn. Yep. The idea was, you know, it's Doom. It's the Doom Marine. Or as somebody do, do, hashtagged do, do, in the stream do, do, when the idea was do, do, conceptualized, do, do, do. the Doom Babe. So, you know, badass demon killing warrior. Actually, the story behind the Sombra horn thing is she tore it off and now uses it as an ass scratcher. Butt scratcher, butt scratcher, butt scratcher, butt scratcher. Yeah, hold on. Let me just go to the stream chat. Uh... You're surprisingly quiet, Jesse. She has Jesse? been flustered. Um, oh. Don't mind the noise. Oh, oh never mind. She, um, her Discord broke. Oh. oh no, Jesse, no. Got it. Now yeah. I'm worried that I have upset someone. It sounds like Golden's like tearing up the apartment or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, so my Wi-Fi is being a butt with me again. Yeah. Rylan doesn't deserve cookies. I take them all and give them to Bliss, Ellie, Golden Key, and Jesse. <gasps> Faith gave me cookies and she took them. <laughs> oh, Discord is broken on Jesse's end. Yeah, that's because Discord likes to be a bitch. Discord likes to be a little bitch. Discord bitch. likes to be a little bitch. Yeah, I posted the um, latest art project that I am doing in Discord. Well, not Discord, in PowerPoint for a friend. Okay. It is indeed the... Uh, it's... Yeah. We bet. Oh, hey, Jesse. Can you hear? Can we talk? There Howdy. we go. Oh, now we I'm can back. hear you. I'm back. I'm back. Discord flipping froze on me. <laughs> Sounds like Discord's a little bitch. <laughs> bitch. Yeah, it's being a little bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> okay, now I have to say this joke because of the fact <laughs> I got froze because Discord froze. I was frozen today. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I hear the crying John Golden. <laughs> Rosaria, rest assure you, I could have played something much, much worse. Hotel Mario. God no! I mean, do you wanna? I don't yeah. have. I don't what? have. What? 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 Oh, okay. Uh, uh, dashing cam. My next podcast will be on the twenty sixth. Is that gonna be one about finale? Um, yeah, I'm gonna like I'm thinking about talking about the finale. Um, I'm definitely excited for. I'm willing to talk about Has Been Hotel, which is coming out oh. very soon. Yeah, and um, what else was there? I'm thinking out loud here. <laughs> Dude, same. I do hopefully, like. you know. Hopefully, I'll be talking about a couple of um, you know, talking about the horror genre, and we talk about uh, like actual horror movies. Which is something I wanted to say for when it was closer to Halloween. And this Saturday, yeah. uh, not this coming Saturday, but the next Saturday afterwards. Um, mm -hmm. Equestria guy, I can't really make any promises on who's going to be on the uh, podcast or not. Yeah. You can always play Nightmare Before Christmas for the GBA for a Halloween stream. 
I may save that for next year. Oh, isn't that like the game where Oogie Boogie said he was from some lost holiday called Bug Day or something? I don't yeah. know. I've never played it on the GBA. I haven't I know either. What I know which one you're talking about, too. <coughs> and that's what happened, yes. So, yeah. Oh, shit. no. Why? Yes, I'm very excited for the Hasbun Hotel. I'm very excited. Oh, of course. Gonna be one hell of a time. Boo! Ha ha! It's gonna, you know, it's gonna fire off the charts. No! Ha ha! <laughs> God dang it! <laughs> I mean, either way, they're all damned. <laughs> I mean, we'll all be damned if it doesn't become successful. Uh -huh. Stop! <laughs> you know my ring is with buds. Stop! It, it it it'll definitely be a blast. Stop! <laughs> Maybe even a cherry bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Uh -huh. Shut up! I will smack you! Shut up! You will what? I will smack you! Shut up! Oh, okay. I, what I, you I, thought I said? What did I, you thought I said? Do you really want to hear what I thought you said? No, you! Yes! I thought you said you will feck me. And I was just like, um... <laughs> <laughs> first, it's like first of all no! the word first of all the well, word feck, first of all the word feck is my thing <laughs> second <laughs> no I'm not no. going into the territory yet I'm not going oh. into the re territory Johnson thing is I'm easily amused so puns also are one of the few weaknesses <laughs> I can't help it I'm also easily amused, can confirm. <sighs> well, I think I feel like the one thing that's going to irritate me the most about this llama is tea. Wait, why don't I just do that? Oh yeah, in the for the llama from Fortnite, yeah. Nah, Kuzco. Ha 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 ha. That's the thing You're I was. Right. I think uh, Fortnite isn't that bad either. Eh, I mean, it's not a game I would play, but it's all right. I mean, I get the hatred of the fandom, but like, I, yeah, oh yeah, straight up. That's the thing. Um, <laughs> fandom no... of any franchise will be very toxic. Yeah, there, there are, are no toxic. There are no toxic games. Only toxic fan bases. There are no. Indeed. There's no such thing as a perfect fan base. By any means. Yeah, there's Amen. always a toxic side to everyone. There's always <laughs> every fandom has a few bad apples. <clears throat> Isn't yep. that right, horse people? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'm kidding, I love you guys. <laughs> Let's see. I was gonna say you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, okay, I know the reason that. why it gained kind of a bad rep from Fortnite. Mainly the fans. Well, the majority of the fans are young kids, and <laughs> it's a you... free game on every device. So you yeah. bet your ass, kids are gonna be able to play it. <laughs> and at the same time, the majority of those kids are freaking petty. That's the thing the that's kids. sad about you know a lot of gaming culture is that they have to be so competitive that literally no matter what way you play it, they're gonna criticize you for it in some irritating manner. Yeah, like they're in type thinking they're better than everybody else. Kids, it's the just worst part of because gaming. of their own experience of making progress on their own. Like, okay, congratulations, yeah. you were able to, you know, succeed. Again, in a three sixty, like three sixty, no scope, four twenty, blaze it, shotgun, headshot somebody. Congrats, now fuck off. Yeah, <laughs> and because we of don't their own care. success, it lets them get to their head, and they start to dictate others because of that. It's, <laughs> it's, like, it's just nobody. Like He's like, nobody cares about your elite skills, small dick energy. Oof. It's like, it 
was like Oof. similar to the cases of people who had who kids who were playing Call of Duty, which I don't know why kids were playing Call of Duty to begin with. Because and, parents like to play parents. their children and blame it on the internet. Yeah. And then, of uh, course, Team Fortress 2 was no better. There was a lot of kids that were just as bad in Team Fortress 2. I'm like, really? You kids don't even need to be doing this type of BS. Hey, Golden, thank God you didn't encounter any of those kids during Analysis Anarchy. Oh, God, don't oh, remind me. wow. <laughs> like, a good number of the... Okay, I've, had, I've been reading, like, a lot of Reddits about um, entitled kids, and some of them that were video game related. There were a lot of those kids in those situations where they called the OP a hacker. I'm like, really? Of That's course they did. That's your excuse? That's your excuse? That's weak. Kids are weak. I mean, Oof. that was kind of a thing in Call of Duty. I remember people accusing some little beat em of being hackers and shit. When I was into Call of Duty. It was like, this person's a hacker. No, you're just shit at plays. Get yeah. good, scrub. No, like, like I don't use. If you I don't if you've seen Harvey like... and the Chief, you would get the joke that if yeah. your character, like if whenever he's getting his ass kicked, he just assumes, "Oh, dude, you're fucking hacking, fucking hacker, stop hacking." Yeah. It's like no, yeah. you're just getting your ass kicked because you fucking suck, and everybody yeah, knows exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Like for me, I don't usually like the get good mentality that most people who play games have because it's pretentious, condescending, and most of the time just really scummy. But at the same time, if you're better at than the someone same time. else, it's like when people are dicks, then I lack patience. <laughs> Especially when they're little kids. I'm like, all right, you kids need to stop being a bunch of little brats and stop that. Well, there's a mute button for most games True. anyway. True, right. but that can't be avoided sometimes. Hmm. And also, Desert Samurai, if you want to add me to your Discord, to the Discord friend thing, yes, you can. Just don't try to t message me a lot. I'm not a. I don't talk a lot on Discord. Hmm. Dude, same. So you think the get good attitude is bad in Fortnite? You haven't seen anything yet. If you've been in the Destiny Two community, <laughs> no, any community will have that shit. Yeah, no, I, think, no I think the get I think the get good attitude to gaming is bad in general, but it you is. know sometimes sometimes there are people that need to tell you to quote unquote get good scrub if you're just gonna be a bitch about everything little thing that happened. It's like yeah, I'm exactly. bad at it's like I am bad at games. I'm bad at competitive games, I can't snipe to save my life, I can't 360 or no, whatever, no. I is like I can't do the front flip, back flip, clip through the wall, exploit to end up at the highest point in the map and take pot shots with a grenade launcher. I can't do that stupid pretty, shit. I play pretty, games yeah. to have fun. Exactly. Specific. <laughs> Save the Guinness Book of World Records for those people who slam their dick in the pages. Also, <laughs> 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 uh, like, look at me, I did this. And it's like, well done, Good you. Good for fucking you. You want a cookie? It's like those people on, I think, Instagram who's like, I have eaten the banana. Uh, also, if you can, if you can get that, let me translate it for you. I have eaten a banana. Well then. R slash nobody asked. Mm. Oh god, now I got that stuck in my head again. <laughs> Damn you, Jesse. What? What did I do? What? What? You, what? You brought it up earlier. Because I or because I was talking asked. about no because I was talking about dressing up your OC as Peely from Fortnite and then you said if I did it you'd sing the banana meme songs and now oh. Riley's singing the banana meme songs. <laughs> That's a pretty good recap of the events. Mm. I'm sorry, Riley. I did not cut in your head. <laughs> what have also, you the, done? also the only reason I know the guy's name is Peely is because I played Fortnite with Double today. Speaking of games, I need to start. This has no games. bearing on anyone or anything in the stream. Just thought I'd share. Sharing is caring. Mm -hmm. I need to start playing my Link's Awakening game I got for my Switch. That I was gonna game. get that, but I'm just like sixty dollars for like a seven eight hour game. Eh, wait until it gets cheaper. I'm waiting till um. When later on, when Luigi's Magic Three comes out, and I want to, I want to be able to play this game because 
I love Luigi's Mansion. I got the Spyro collection on the Switch, and it surprisingly runs pretty smoothly. Really? Oh, cool. the, one, the one that got freaking Solar to, you know, do his <laughs> thing during the stream at one point. Yeah, do? pretty much. Do? The very same. Yep. Yeah. Where he was going to need a, a box of tissues. <laughs> oh, yeah. What happened? What okay, happened? Uh, there. when I was playing uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Bliss was asking, so who's excited for the original remake of the Spyro trilogy? And Solo reacted with, oh, close to the microphone. Yeah. And I'm like, I think I'm going to assume that uh, he's going to need a box of tissues. <laughs> yeah. What the heck? Everyone Look what Flutterstar said. said about my OC. I feel like Jesse's OC should wear a businesswoman outfit when she's serious. <laughs> I mean, sure. whatever. You, you, Flutterstar, you're creating the potentiality of people saying... Like, Why so serious? Like, no, like, I'm talking about like based on how nice the outfit would look on her. It would bring up more questions on the freaking um, Kieran Tush. I just want to say, just saying. I just, I just want to say, Golden said it this time. I am exempt from any and all. That's yeah. I, I, all I have to do is facepalm now. I'm just gonna facepalm everybody. Any every time everybody brings that up. As 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 as. You're not helping, Logic. This is your I'm life now. Me. This is your life now. Da, 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 da. You know, I had to deal with, like, for the longest time, I had to deal with that stupid, uh, the, the, the mix-up <laughs> of Krusty between Krusty Burger and Krusty Krab. <laughs> oh, my God. Because Wait, they're both, yeah, because they're both fast that? food restaurants, and they both have Krusty on there. Yeah, they both are named Krusty, and, they ha and they're based off of an actual, legit burger joint. Yeah. And it, I can understand the confusion. <laughs> hmm. It's like, oh, you went to uh, you went to Krusty Burger to get a Krabby Patty. Went to the crustacean crab. Crustacean crab. Yes. Ooh. Okay, there's an idea. Um, that moment Johnson when you said... that moment when you realize why it's called the Krusty Crab. <laughs> After <laughs> years. It's like, oh, I get it, crustacean, because he's a crab. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Johnson said. I think Jesse's OC can go well in a Cinderella's outfit. That would be pretty. Didn't you already do that? Um, have her in a Cinderella-like dress? No, just have a dress that could pretty much be a best fit for any princess of any franchise on Lucky. Um... I could have sworn you've done something like that before. Well, not all princess dresses, but that'll depend on the type of coloration of said dress. <laughs> well, it's a princess dress. The color is pretty. Well, that depends on which princess you're talking about. Or if you're talking about Disney princesses, there's a lot of variety, folks! <laughs> but if you're talking about video game-related dresses, um... That, it's a question. Like, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of video game princesses, I noticed. Huh. Banana in pajamas. Um, oh, Equestria Guy pictures. and a Magical Star. Just Lucky does not have a lover. She does not have a Prince Charming. Wait, what? Okay, they're asking... You really think me and Solo will be making the jokes you make if she did? <laughs> I'm terrified of angry boyfriends. Well, the thing is, <laughs> Lucky's trying to stay signal, single. Signal. Uh, <laughs> shut up. Escape it now. It's I meant forever. sig. Shut up. I meant single, mainly uh, because her la she does not want to risk it being another uh, changeling in disguise, aka her ex. As opposed to anyone else, she could probably have been to could possibly have been talking about. I mean, I'd imagine that'd be pretty awkward. So, yeah, that's basically what happened. She, dad, that's why her daughter is a half changeling. So, apparently, people are making jokes of 
All right, so while Spike is being all buff and everything, he's being compared to Bane from The Dark Knight Rises. How are you? I was born in the Twilight. Yes. I was so, so I'm going to read first. them all to you, the ones your that I found. Or your body. If I may. Go, man, go. <laughs> okay, go, so man. we have one with Fluttershy. When the series finale passes, you have my permission to cry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when the series finale passes as he says to Pinkie Pie you have my permission for pie oh god for Rainbow Hello. Dash when the series finale passes you have my permission to fly oh my god <laughs> and then for Applejack when the series finale passes you have my permission to lie Oh! Worse and worse. I hate you, Spike. I hate you again. I can't believe it. I hate you again. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, the one with rarity. <laughs> when the series finale passes, oh mama, then you have my permission to give the glad eye. What? You have uh -huh. my permission to give the glad eye. Um. Oh. This is asking how to. Insert sensibly. Oh my god! Oh Wait a second, god. hold on. What does that mean? You know. No, fuck it, never mind. <laughs> oh, um, okay, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we got there in the end, boys! I mean, at the very least, he's grown up? Yeah, he's grown out of his infatuation with Rarity. He's with Gabby now. <laughs> Yeah. Um, also, did you see that thing on Twitter where people were saying, oh my god, this is like, this Griffin is totally Gabby and Spike's kid, and I'm just like, since when? <laughs> it's, like, it's because of the color, and I'm just like, that doesn't matter! <laughs> that doesn't make sense! Like, oh my god, Rarity doesn't look like either of her parents. <laughs> Applejack doesn't look like Pear Butter or Bright Neck. Or even the two combined. Heck, even Twilight doesn't look anything like her parents. Well, they do have some purplish and blue colors. Like the only one who looked like their parents is fucking Scootaloo, and she has like poor wing genetics, so there's probably something going on there. Shut up. <laughs> you know exactly heck, what I mean. Even... <laughs> heck, even um, okay, even uh. The only, uh, uh, the only other ones aside from uh, Scootaloo, Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy's parents, you could see a bit of them in her, in them both. Wait, Fluttershy's parents? Yes, if you look um... at both of Fluttershy's parents, Fluttershy has her mother's coat, while she also has her father's mane. Um. Okay. Look at a picture of them both and you'll see what I mean. <sighs> And then Rainbow Dash. I mean, I'm not parents, gonna, but okay. <laughs> and Rainbow Dash's parents, you see the genetics in both of her parents. The Rainbow Mane, obviously from the father, and the main coat color, the lighter blue, that's from her mom. Hmm. So yeah, they are aside from not just Scootaloo, but also um, Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash look a lot like look have the traits of their parents, which I didn't mind. Okay. But the point is, it's still a 50-50% chance of having any amount of resemblance to any of the oh. things that made you. Oh. What? Okay. What? So, um... I, I'm, in a, I, I'm in a server somewhere, and apparently there was information... Okay, so, you guys know about, um... Uh, okay, so there was a questionnaire that Jim Miller was uh, giving out. And he was ask, mm -hmm. uh, he was answering questions about the show, like why was this happened? Were there any the, any other ideas and such? One of which is that okay, so my issue with the series is that after Crusaders of the Lost Mark, none of the writers did anything with uh, Diamond Tiara. They're actually um, he did say that there was a pitch that he was given to Hasbro, but they claimed that ha um, Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon's arc is considered over. Um, there was actually an idea of a script, and I'm going to read this out loud. Um, there was a CMC episode for season six 
there was an intentionally best-selling and Emmy-nominated of an author named Lisa, uh, Lisa Palmer. Lisa Palmer. Um, it was going to involve uh, Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon, and it was going to be more of a Scootaloo episode. That is uh-huh. probably the most, like, that is the closest to be a justifiable way. Because part of the reason why I lost respect for uh, Diamond is because of her making fun of Scootaloo's inability to fly. Like, yeah. that is an unforgivable course of action. Even after, you know, her mother was called out on and everything, there was no real justification. Apparently, it was rejected. And it's theori- it's theoretically said because you'd need an Apple Bloom and a Sweetie Bell episode. And I'm sitting there thinking, what? Since when? There was a lot of episodes where it was not where the where the other two were not were the main focus and not with the rest. Why can't Skulu have a fo- o- o- only focused episode? And get because this. Because Hasbro's lazy and didn't want to do anything else with Yeah, no, else. get this. The, uh, they even had a title of the episode, My Fair Pony. Aw. Aw. Hmm. Oh, I get it. Wait, I think there's a PDF file for this. Okay. Uh, let's let's look over this. Oh, they have all the lines and everything. So I think it's funny. I think it's funny that like we are establishing new ground, but it all leads to the same conclusion. Hasbro just sucks and has no idea what good is. Yeah, is no, true. like from this point, like, despite that there's a lot of things that they really uh that DHL, like there's there's a lot despite that there's a lot of things that could have needed better work for the show this is not dhx's fault hasbro just has a stick up their ass and not allowing certain things because they care more about selling their toys than they care about telling a good story like at this point this is something dhx was struggling with like this is a great idea of an episode and i would have been much more forgiving i actually would have had more appreciation for Crusaders of the Lost Mark at that point. Like, my issue with it could have been a thing of the past, but no. It's it's stuck like that. Because hmm. of the fact Hasbro didn't think it would be a good idea when they should have thought about that later on. <sighs> so, yeah. Um, I'm guessing they go to a fair or something like that. I don't know. Just... Like, I, I'm not going to repeat the same old song and dance about my feelings on Crusaders because a lot of people know my feelings on that episode. Hmm. Yeah. But, uh, Hasbro, why are you so stupid? I know, right? Because Hasbro. Why are you so stupid? Because Hasbro. Because <laughs> this is a new ground we're treading here. We know the reason why. It's like, we probably have a better understanding of them than we've ever had, and that is that they are just Idiots. their brain power is beneath normal people they basically have nothing but money symbols in their heads yeah it's like so many good things could have happened could have but they did it why okay. because uh, it's like because our overlords just sucked that bad Who's greedy or Hasbro Konami? Pfft, I don't fucking know. Actually, I, mean, um, I, have, I have a better way to. I have a better way to say this. Yeah, what Hasbro has to say? They gave me more ideas for Diamond TR that would actually work, but I didn't listen. <laughs> That's a good one. I mean, fuck, dude. Like that episode could be a very good replacement for the freaking go kart episode. <laughs> I agree. That episode. The go kart just... episode, you know, whose entire premise is Applejack and Rainbow Dash and Rarity don't know how to read a room. Again. No surprise. And that whole thing is just like a frustrating mess. Like every I scene, I'm just like, what? Mind. Oh, God. So uh... that's like, that entire episode was like, okay, I already know what's going to happen. These three are idiots, so they're going to do something stupid, and then they're going to get yelled at, and then everything's going to be fixed. They were here's idiots. This, something here's got the part broke, that was more fixed. frustrating. Uh, the whole time they're trying to like, okay, so the CMC are telling the you know the main six that, hey, uh, do you think we could do this and such? And they're trying to like talk to them about everything, but of course they're not going to listen. Near the end of the episode, they finally get called out saying, you know, 
They're not your carts. We were supposed to make them, and we were supposed to ride them. And Rarity literally asks out loud, why didn't you tell us? They did. <laughs> Pretty much. Rarity, now I understand why Snickerman hates you. <laughs> Oof. Oh! Oh. Ouch. Ouch. Now I understand why Spike left you for Gabby. <laughs> And now oh, I understand. And now I understand the real reason the diamond dogs oh. are <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, oh, I can God. feel the burn from here, man. Where's the yellow? Where's That's the, so. Where's the aloe vera? Fuck. Oh, God. God. <laughs> Savage as fuck. Everyone, in, everyone in the chat is like, marshmallow. Everyone in the, in the chat is like, like, holy crap. Oh. Right? Okay. <laughs> God, imagine my fair lady. That would be a gr my fair pony. Sorry, my fair pony would be a great replacement for freaking um, you know the go kart episode. Right. I love how Gordon was just like, just imagine my fair lady. You know, in case we didn't know what the title parallel was. Yeah. Thanks for having a yeah. bet. Like if they had if I they think... had put that in there and have a much better script for newbie dash, I would have been a lot more forgiving for season six because even though people have issues with season eight. I still hated season six with a passion. Yeah. Perfectly justifiable passion, because seriously, what was that? What the fuck was that? <laughs> like, I'd rather watch season three again. At least season three had frickin' uh, Wonderbolts Academy, and it had... Ah, that edge. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the, 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 the camp out episode, uh, Sleepless in Ponyville. At least it, that, it had that. And the I only camping had, episode like, I need is the one where they talk about Miss Mane because of the freaking Hanzo scene where she shoots a dragon at her enemy. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Ray, we'll go, we'll go take you, we'll go fuck yourself. Season 4 was her passion. Hey, Magical Star, okay, let me clarify that. Season 4 was more on the levels of me getting frustrated with what the series is coming down to. And in hindsight, it's because the show wasn't coming out the way I wanted it. The part where I lost it completely and blew up my channel, obviously, was the Equestria games. Because I'm sitting there thinking, like, what was the point of having those episodes if it's going to be a Spike episode? There was literally no point to that. Eh. Like, that was, like, that was the breaking point where I just, like, I lost so much hope for the show. And people came in saying, it's about the characters. It's like, well, you can make something work with the characters. Um, but it started to, I started to appreciate season four more with the finale because that had more to do with the season opener that I wanted to know more about compared to the games. Mm -hmm. But there were a lot of, like, there were some frustrating moments in season four, but it wasn't the worst. Um... I didn't like how Pinky was written in Philly Vanilli, the Equestria games I've already spoken about. I didn't like that Spike was getting the um, getting the short end of the stick and becoming a punching bag. And I oh, also yeah. really hated the excuse that Amy King Rogers said that, oh, there's no room for Spike. Uh, yeah, there is. Yeah. You know, you have, like, if there's no room for Spike, why is he in the finale, dipshit? Yeah, not to mention exactly. they say that, oh, yeah, and it's a show that's crowded with a lot of characters. You have so much time to develop each and every one of them. That's no excuse. I know. So I was glad that he got his development in uh, Mold Down. Like, I will give credit to Season 8 for that episode, as well as, um, what else was there that I liked? Oh, yeah, I actually like the Young Six. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of people say, oh, there's not that much screen time. Well... Even with the little amount of screen time, I can get a gist and an idea with these characters, especially in school days when they're just out and about and just enjoying their lives. Exactly. It was very oh. easy for me to connect with them. And also at the same time, one of the uh, some of the episodes with some of the when the young six were also like talking about what they do during the holiday time, and then you have Gal yeah. or Gallus. Like that episode was a big selling point for the young six. And then, like, I still get complaints saying, like, oh, there weren't enough episodes for me to care for them. So, boy! Uh, it's like, bish, where have you been? Yeah. Dude? See, yeah, some, pe some people expect it too much. And I'm sitting there thinking, you know, it would be nice to see more of them. But it is what it is. And I was still able to get a very good impression of these characters that I legit was invested in uh, what lies beneath. I mm. agree. Also, yes, really Yona Best Yak. Yes. Yes, I love Yona too. She is so freaking precious. Out of all the, out of all the young, Yona became I... one of my most personal favorites because she was like, oh god, she's a precious bean. 
I feel like the reason I like Yona as much as I do is because they finally managed to make an interesting yak that I didn't dislike simply because, you know, if they were so one-dimensional that the only thing they knew how to do was break shit and then tell someone else it's fair. Yak destroy! Yeah, yes, but no, what, that's, all, that's all what you know, it, did. God. It's just like, it's like that John Tron clip is like, yeah, it's destroy. I'm like, but why? Why would you do that? Why would you do anything? I don't know. I also still stand by the claim that I really can't stand Prince Rutherford after he refused any help from Pinky during that episode when uh, the village was covered in a, like, snowbound and they were nearly starving. Because, yeah. like, I saw the review from... Um, uh, Josh and uh, that that yeah. Scorpion guy saying, "Oh, if they, if he allowed help, his um, his authority would have been undermined and it would have started a civil war." So you'd rather have people starve to death? What kind of mindset is that? Like you yeah, have to do power is important. Apparently, <laughs> it's people. just them saying that you have to do some corrective things in order to keep your power stand. No, you think you need to think about what's more important for the people. That's what a true leader is. Wait, yeah. holy shit! He's like a real life politician. Oof. Oof. Yeah, no, after that episode, and just weirdly thanking Pinkie Pie for having everything done behind his back, it's a weird message. I know. And the thing that frustrates it's... me is that this episode is similar to what Apple, um, Apple Buck season was, and Josh criticized that episode saying it was mean-spirited or something like that, and I'm like, dude, not asking for trouble is a lot more mean-spirited because you're actually starving everyone else and not just causing a ruckus at the expense of you being stubborn. Also causing food poisoning to children, which was a thing she did in that episode by way of, you know, not asking for help and therefore getting really tired and doing a subpar job because something, something, traditionalism, something. Yeah. Pretty much. That's actually one of the reasons I don't like traditionalism. Like, people can live by their traditions, but the moment such an action... Some things like, have to be changed. It's like, the moment, it's like, the moment your quote-unquote tradition affects somebody else outside of you in a negative way, you don't get to stand by it anymore. I don't care how many people get mad that I'm saying, you know, don't do stupid shit. But I also um, want to point out... I also want to point out that, yes, there was uh, that moment in Apple Book season where Applejack cooked muffins and got everyone sick, but that's because of how sleep-deprived she was, and that was at the expense of her refusing to be helpful. Hmm. Yeah. Also, food poisoning, children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um... Uh, oh, Nickel, I fucking love Apple Book season. That episode is underrated as hell. Like, people sure. say, like, the first good episode is the one where they go up to the mountain and talk to the dragon. And I'm sitting there thinking, not really. Apple Book season is about the, you know, consequences of not you know, allowing anybody to help you out. That's a very important message. And I was able to connect with that very fast. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't like the episode where they had to go talk to the dragon for one very specific reason. What's that? Applejack was being a bitch about every little thing Fluttershy did, and I'm just like, you were childhood friends with this character, and you know fuck all about how they feel, and you're just like, they should just get over it. You wasn't daft wasn't Dash also being picky about it? That was mainly Rainbow Dash, not Applejack. Yeah, and, like Rainbow Dash you completely. Said yeah. Applejack, dude. Oh. Yeah, and, and she oh, fucking yeah. loses. I love that she completely loses it and kicks the uh, dragon in the face. And it's like, oh shit, <laughs> it gets okay, roared at. I, okay, so I meant to say Rainbow Dash. I I I just had Applejack on the brain because Apple Buck season. But yeah, <laughs> I meant Rainbow Dash being a bitch to Fluttershy about being Fluttershy, and I'm just like, you massive flamboyant fucking cunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you technicolor douchebag. <laughs> well, I mind fucking you that hate you right now. Go ahead, Riley. The C word, well, I was going to say, mind you, that the C word isn't as bad as it is here for logic. In his country, like the C word is used more frequently than it is here. Mm. That is right? true. Mostly by Scottish or Irish people. I don't know which. Perhaps even both. How can anyone mix the confusion between AJ and RD? Rosaria, we just explained that we were talking well, about Well, I Apple mean, Plus. they are voiced by the same person. No, 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 no. It, I'm still talking. <laughs> yeah. No, the reason why Logic got mixed up with those two is because we were just talking about Apple Buck season, and then we jumped to Dragon Shy, and Applejack was still on his mind. Yeah. yeah. Also, we live in a world where someone got me confused with Sola, so um, what? you don't get to complain. How? <laughs> 
And people what? keep confusing. Yeah, yeah and people keep happened. confusing me with Blissey. Yeah, that did happen. Somebody okay, that I can understand. Someone mistook me for Sola all the other way around because um, why again? I, I don't yeah, I don't know why either. Confused with Solar, honestly. Yeah, it's bad enough when people confuse Golden Fox with Solar, but freaking logic with Solar? Yes, like, because okay. apparently he miraculously can speak freaking. <laughs> Uh, apparently I am the there, Solar. Apparently I am best freaking big dick energy Americana. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. Good God. Uh... I just got a comment on my uh... Top Gun review and all it says is movie sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I could be a real dick and link him to a picture that has Jesus like Finger no, you should, you no, say, no, 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 you you say you're, you're crossing into the danger zone there, buddy. <laughs> God damn it. Speaking of which, when I, speaking of something relating to Top Gun and whatnot, um, when you were doing that one uh clip from the highlight reel about what happened when i gave that one girl the bird and logic oh, and yeah. ended up calling me that <laughs> and then that thing came up you want to know what my mom's reaction to that oh god what she let out a oh cut it guess like what it's like really what it's this i literally was you know that you should be happy she just uh, shakes her head at me. She was displeased with me uh, using the the cunt killer joke. No, I think she was just shocked that that happened. She don't really care that I do that of who I hang out with. She knows about the people I hang out with. She was just shocked that that happened. Huh? <laughs> I'm like, come on, mom. You know that that I, you can't deny that. And she's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I will. Please. It's nothing serious. It's nothing to really worry about, Golden. She's just shocked that I was titled that. <laughs> you know, but Mom, don't you remember? That happened when that one girl I actually gave the bird to, and you actually congratulated me for it? <laughs> Alright, I think it's so, time. I, I think it's time. But like, I've been... How long have I been alive for? About three uh, hours. Yeah, yeah, three hours or so. Yeah, this was it's a pretty not... short one. But uh, thank you for anybody stopping by. Um, hopefully, I'll come up with something better next week. So until then, um, oh, come on, dude. It was fine. Yeah, it's it fine, dude. It was literally X amount of hours of you playing frustrating games, and people love watching you do that. Yeah. Especially... Why do you think your Tetris? Why do you think your Tetris game is so popular? Certainly not because it's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no joke. Especially. Heck, I wouldn't be surprised how many people are going to be following you constantly or pretty much going to get a lot of views because of the Dr. Mario game. Oh, yeah, you did play Dr. Mario and yeah. expected anything other than tragedy, didn't you? <laughs> you well, you know. until then, I'll catch you guys later and... Yes. Bye. Later, everyone.